Hey guys, it's Intuitive144. I am a psychic medium, along with being a physical medium. I'm bracing myself because I already know the Decepticons, the doodle bots, they're not gonna like this. It is what it is. I tell it like it is. I am a psychic medium along with being a physical medium. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. But no, I'm a psychic medium along with being a physical medium. I'm not a tarot reader. Please stop calling me that. All I do is just look at you and I receive messages for you, uh, for you, okay? And I do speak to spirits, okay? So I'm going to be talking about the energetic exchange between Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion. I meditated on their energy for about an hour. It was very redundant, so it lets me know... It was just it was just redundant energy. Um, but yeah, forty dollars for a picture reading, seventy two dollars for a thirty minute reading, and a hundred and forty four dollars for an hour session with me. Um, I meditated on their energy. Every if you see me reading something, it's because I'm reading my notes. You know, during meditation I have to close my eyes. So I just speak into my recorder and this is what I have. So Spirit said Nikki should have waited it out. I asked him, What does this mean? Spirit said, Nikki should have waited the relationship out. So let me tell you what they mean by this, because they don't really speak in a human way. And they speak matter of factly, right? So yeah, let me tell you what they mean by this. Have you ever automatically helped somebody then regretted it because maybe their political views were different from yours? Maybe they ended up being homophobic. Maybe they were racist. Or have you ever ended up, have you ever had a crush on a female or a male? Then as soon as they opened their mouth and spoke, you found them unattractive? Yeah. It's almost as if Nikki didn't wait for Megan to open her mouth. So what I'm saying, it's almost as if Nikki didn't wait for Megan to show her who she really is, okay? Spirit just said she took the bait. All right. Um, so one thing about a person, they will always tell you and show you who they are. And what I am picking up on is Nikki needed to wait to pick up energy on slash from Megan. And she needed to wait to understand Megan's energy. All right. I keep feeling like Nikki really liked her. All right. So let me scroll down. And I know the doodle box is going to drag me. And a part of me doesn't want to get dragged. But bitch, if you want to drag me, let, yeah, let's let's run it up. Let's run these views up. Yes, more views, more, more money on for me. Yes, run it up. Let's do it. I'm not scared of none of y'all. Let's do it. But this is what I've seen in the vision, all right? So there's something with Megan. So this was very weird. This is what I've seen in the vision. It looked like they were on a set for a movie. So there's something with Megan showing up to work drunk or high. Maybe this is a set. I'm not too sure exactly what I'm looking at. So so what I'm saying, so what I'm saying to you right now is what I spoke into my recorder because I'm laying down, I'm closing, my eyes are closed and I'm speaking into the recorder. So I, I will be speaking as if I'm seeing it right now. All right, so there's something with Megan showing up to work drunk or high. Maybe this is a set. I'm not too sure exactly what I'm looking at, but they're showing me a vision of her meeting Nikki for the first time. And I am picking up on being that I am a physical medium. I'm able to feel as though I'm, maybe, I'm able to feel like Megan is under a substance under like, I don't know if this is liquor or weed or drugs i don't know what this is but they keep allowing me to feel like her move her bot like she her energy is very slow like slow processing time so this could be liquor this could be drugs i don't know what this is so in the vision nikki is looking at her very confused and then nikki starts to become frustrated because it's frustrated because she's like why are you showing up to work drunk? It's very unprofessional. So energetically, that became the first red flag for Nikki. Okay. So let's say these two are on set for a movie. I keep feeling like Nikki took her character serious and Megan didn't really take her character serious because she's wobbly, her speech is slurred, and she's laughing at the producers and the directors. She's not really taking her uh, role serious, okay? 
Um, being that I cannot control my visions, I ask spirit point blank. I'm like, what what's going on between Nikki and Megan? And spirit said Nikki was used, okay? Then I asked them to explain a little bit more. So let's go back to the vision of them being on set. They show me the same vision of Nikki and Megan being on set. Nikki is preparing for her lines and Megan is loud in the back, not really preparing for her lines, okay? She once again, she's not taking the producers or the directors or the assistants serious, right? And this frustrates Nikki, okay? Because the producers are now looking at Nikki like, why did you ask us to put her in a movie and she's not even taking this role serious? So Nikki becomes upset. So energetically, I guess what Spirit is trying to say, the reason why their fallout happened is because there was a lack of respect. A lack of respect and it's one-sided, okay? On, one-sided on both ends. This is very weird. I'll explain it later. They keep allowing me to feel like Megan went inside of Nikki's house without taking off her sneakers, without greeting everybody that was already in the house, without washing her hands. Like they keep allowing me to feel like the respect wasn't there on Megan's end. And this ball energetically, what I'm feeling is, is like, is as though this bothered Nikki as it would bother anybody, right? All right. Also in this vision, Nikki's husband kept popping up. I don't, and and it and it and it and it feels like uh I don't I don't really know how to explain it energetically, but it was something transpired between the three, but it's subtle. It's almost as if what they're showing me right now is a vision of Megan shaking her ass in front of Nikki while the husband is in the same room. Now me as a demure, respectful, mindful woman bitch I don't even like to wear a crop top with my nipples out in front of my boyfriend in front of in front of my friend's boyfriend bitch I do this yes because it, it, it it's it's like let's have some respect let's be demure let's be mindful let's be cutesy but yeah it's just something with the husband and spirit wouldn't really elaborate but Nikki felt a type of way with what Megan didn't do it's like, um, let's say, you know, it's Thanksgiving, right? And you're going to Megan's house, you know, with your husband or boyfriend. And Megan opens the door in a crop top and booty shorts. Booty, booty shorts, right? It's like, bitch, if you don't put some of the fucking clothes on for I whack a doodle you, bitch, I'm not insecure, but let's let's have some respect. It's kind of like that. The energy is what I'm, that's kind of like the energy that I'm picking up on. Anyways, once again, lack of respect, okay? Now, I got to keep saying it. That's the energy that I keep picking up on. All right. Let me scroll down. Sorry, guys. So in Nikki's head, she feels like she's owed an apology. But in Megan's head, she doesn't even see that she did something to be apologetic about. You get what I'm saying? And energetically, these two are... These two individuals are individuals who have, who have experienced two different upbringings. Like for me, wherever I go, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, may I, may I please, yes, thank you, good morning, how are you? But I have had friends in the past that don't say, that haven't said thank you, never really said thank you, never really said may I, you know, never would really acknowledge somebody in the room. My Nana always taught me, any and every room you walk into, you speak. Hello, how are you doing? You know, I have went to my friend's house before. They they said, oh, my mom is downstairs. I said, no, before I chill out in your house, I got to meet your mom first. I need your mom to know that I'm in her house. Hello, my name is Hanese. I'm Mel's friend. I just want to let you know I'm in your house. Yes, bitch, I, my name, I'm, I don't play that. But not everybody is like that, right? So once again, energetically, it's just lack of respect, okay? So I have to say these are two individuals who have experienced two these are two different individuals who have experienced two different upbringings okay all right so yeah um let me just let me just scroll down let me just scroll down guys all right so i'm not trying to sound like a broken record i just they just spirits keep repeating it so i have to keep repeating it okay so 
I will say this, energetically, I am sensing that Megan is one of the very first people that have ever challenged Nikki in a long, that has ever challenged Nikki in a long time. And that's another thing that bothers, and I say bothers because she's still bothered by it, whether she admits it or not. Let me run that back. Energetically, I am sensing that Megan is one of the first people that have ever that has ever challenged Nikki in a long time. And that's another thing that bothers Nikki. But it feels like it was more so of Megan having a lack of respect for Nikki. OK, also the same thing that was done to Nikki, I do see Megan doing to a dark skinned female rapper. Now, I know you guys are like, why are you saying dark skinned spirit? But it really show me who this rapper was is excuse me whatever but she's a famous dark skin rapper don't know who that is anyways spirit really isn't allowing me to see okay also i do see megan doing the same thing to cardi b and i do see megan's friend exposed see they don't want me to say it because they just they just said don't say it bitch i'm gonna say it bitch i'm not i see one of megan's friend exposing megan all right, and they're all going to have similar stories, okay? I keep feeling like these people will have a similar story about Megan, okay? Energetically, they keep showing me Megan in the form of a goat. And she's pushing other goats off the mountain, okay? So Megan wants to be the number one female rapper. It doesn't even, they just crossed out female, she wants to be the number one rapper, okay? And I get it. Everybody wants to be the best. But Megan does it in a snarky, hurtful way, okay? So I know y'all are going to drag me. But they keep allowing me. And I will say it to the bitch. I'll say it to Jesus come back. I don't feel like she's a friend. I don't feel like she knows how to be a friend. They keep allowing me to feel like Megan legitimately doesn't know how to be a friend. And there are people out there that really don't know how to be a friend, okay? Anyways, they keep showing me a vision of Megan being in competition with everybody, but in a subtle way. You know, have you ever heard your granny say, oh, she's nice, nasty, like a nice, nasty? Like, that's what I'm getting from Megan. She's very competitive, okay? If she was meant to be a janitor in life, she would try to be the best janitor as she should right but she's trying to be the best janitor not because she wants to be the best janitor but because she wants to have the t that title that acknowledgement that praise and she wants people to view her as the best janitor all right it's kind of like how there are some people out in the world out there in the world that only are surgeons because they like the the acknowledgement that comes with it because let's be let's keep it a hundle if i tell somebody i work at mcdonald's right now they're gonna be like oh, okay but bitch if i tell them that i'm a surgeon it's a different response we, we gotta keep it a hundle we gotta keep it a hundle so energetically it feels like she 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 craves that praise okay so i'm sensing some egomania egomaniac you know energy attached to her um now, Nikki and Megan are very similar to each other energetically. I know they may disagree, but Nikki and Megan are very similar energetically, which is why I do sense a lot of conflict. Now, let's say these two are 18 years old, right? And they are working extremely hard to get in the industry and become the best female rapper on earth. Nikki is doing it because she actually really loves to rap. Megan is doing it because she wants everyone to view her as the best rapper. Two people with the same dream. However, two people with different goals. Okay. All right. Also, I think when Megan gets into an energy of not caring, she does not care. So if someone is hurt, if she hurts someone's feelings and she's in a I don't care energy, she doesn't care if they're hurt, okay? Also, I think when Megan, you know, finally does some reflection and healing, you know, reflection, healing, and therapy, I do see her apologizing to quite a few people, but it's over. They keep showing me, once again, a vision of her. They really don't want me to say this. 
it keeps showing me a vision of her knocking on a few people's doors and they're refusing to open a door. Ruined relationship, Spirit just said. Anyways, I'll say this. Because the energy is getting heavy. They really don't want me to say it. I'm able to rent. I'm able to recognize that when you're hurt, you operate out of hurt. I talk about this in my Megan Thee Stallion. I've talked about this in my Megan Thee Stallion reading many months ago. I said that a lot of things that she did was because of her missing her mom. And on my live yesterday, I said anytime someone has experienced some type of trauma, they respond in an abnormal way due to that trauma. It's abnormal, but it's really normal for, it, it's a normal response for someone who's experienced trauma, right? So when my Nana passed, I would sleep for about 20 hours a day, okay? When I was RAPED, I would shower four times a day if I could because I was homeless. And sometimes when I wasn't able to shower, I would put hand sanitizer all over my body because the flashbacks of what happened to me made me feel very disgusting, all right. Um, so sometimes when and, and, you know, sometimes when someone gets RAPD, they become hypersexual. Right. Sometimes when someone loses their mom, they become an alcoholic like Megan. I'm not justifying Megan's behavior. I'm humanizing her. But unfortunately, whether you're an alcoholic or whether you sleep 20 hours a day, there's consequences to that. But Megan, no shade. Cut it out. Bitch, cut it out. Bitch, you're 30. It's no excuse. It's like, bitch, you're too old to be acting the way that you acting. Oh, I know. Y'all like, oh, she not choosing a side? No, I'm not choosing no side. I'm not on neither one of these, these girls' sides. Could give a fuck about a Megan. Could give a fuck about a Nikki. Okay. Maybe if it was Luther. Patty, Anita Baker, it would be a little different story. But no, I don't give a fuck about either. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what spirits is telling me, okay? Um, but yes, Megan, cut this shit out, but you getting a little bit too old to be acting the way that you act, and shit is not cute. Maybe if you were 17, 18, maybe 22, 23, okay, but bitch, you're 30. It's unacceptable. Anyways, I wanna say something. I'm 25, I just turned 25, right? And I've come to realize you can't get mad at somebody for not knowing. Like I used to have this friend who didn't know how to wipe properly, correctly, whatever. And she was eight, we were 19. And in my head, I'm like, damn, like you 19, you don't know how to wipe, but she was never taught. So you can't really, you know, penalize someone for not knowing, okay? So I helped my friend cause she genuinely didn't know, okay? I think if Megan listens to the people around her to teach her, because sometimes you have to be taught, right? Like how I had to teach my friend how to wipe. I think if Megan listens to the people around, and I'm speaking like from my gift, not person, like energetically, if Megan listens to the people around her to teach her how to be a friend, she could be a friend, okay? All right, if she listens, of course. But in the meantime, Spirit did say Megan will be facing a lot of consequences I do see that in her energy, okay? And I do see Nikki having a I told you so moment. All right, so I guess what I'm trying to say about this entire energetic exchange is that there was a fallout due to Megan not having respect. The problem was the size of a mustard seed. But we all know how big mustard trees can get, right? And energetically, I feel like the reason why Nikki may be having a hard time letting this go is because Nikki was fooled. It's almost like being celibate for 20 years, rejecting every man that comes across your way. Then one day you meet this guy, you fall in love with him, you give your heart to him, and then he breaks it. Her energy, Nikki's energy is almost like, how dare you fool me? How dare I get fooled? I'm Nikki Minaj. How dare someone, you know, trick me? I, I do the tricking. People don't trick me. You know, I'm not somebody that gets fooled. Well, Nikki, I hate to break it to you, but your ass got fooled today. Okay? You got fooled. 
right? And I, I get it. I get it. You know, I have four people behind them having a lack of respect. So I get it. I can, I can understand. I understand. I understand. It. I understand both parties. Um, but just keep this in mind. Let's say you were raised to take your shoes off when you enter someone's house. You may have a friend that will probably just walk into your house. It doesn't really make them less of a friend or disrespectful. Some people aren't raised to take their sneakers off at your house. But being that you you were uh, raised a certain way, you may automatically feel like that's disrespectful, which I get it. But some people really don't know. And once again, when you operate... When you're hurt, you operate out of hurt, okay? And another thing, sometimes when a person is hurting, they don't recognize that they're hurting. Like, you know, my doctor has been telling me, and my friends say that, oh, like, you're depressed, and I don't see it. But I guess, I, I, I mean, I didn't see it, but I see it now. I see it. So sometimes you're not able to recognize things. So for all you Decepticons that, you know, like to disrespect me in my emails and in my comments about Megan, Yes, disrespect me. Let's let's go and 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 tell a friend to tell a friend and bitch and share this motherfucking video and share bitch. Yes, let my views go up. Yes, 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 bitch. Yes, y'all gonna hate on me. I'm gonna make some money off y'all. Yes, yes. But forty dollars for a picture reading, seventy two dollars for a thirty minute reading, and a hundred and forty four for an hour. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for buying. Damn near buying out my wish list. I'm so grateful. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much, girl. It is fucking 5.44. Me tired. Me need to sleep. Me need to sleep. Me tired. And I gotta go. Bye.